So we are now on to the fifth video on probability, this is Salman, and uh, we are going to discuss how to handle the scenario if we uh, are required to draw a larger number of marbles than just two. So let's look, pick a question, let's say the question says that we draw three marbles at random without replacement, and the question says what is the probability that we get two red and one blue. We are going to now learn two ways of solving this problem. The first method is uh, the three-step method that I just spoke to you about in the previous video. Um, and the three-step method was, step one was write down one favorable outcome. So that would be that the first marble is red the second marble is also red and the third marble is blue. Step two would be to calculate the probability of that outcome. So the probability that the first marble is red is 5 out of 30. And the second is red is 4 out of 29. And the third is blue is going to be 10 out of 28. And we will multiply them. This is the probability of getting exactly two red and one blue in the order the first is red, the second is red and the third is blue. Step three is to multiply the answer of step two and uh, as to, uh, to multiply the answer of step two with the number of arrangements possible of the event outcome in mentioned in step one which is R, R, B. So the number of arrangements of this is going to be uh, that because there are three letters, it's three factorial, but because two of them are exactly the same letter, so we need to divide by two factorial. This is a concept that we learned in permutations. So this is going to be three times two times one over two times one, and that gives you three. So we need to multiply the answer of step two with three, and that should give us the answer. 5 upon 203. Now, let's repeat. Step 1, write down one favorable outcome. Red, red, blue, in that specific order. Step 2, find the probability of that exact outcome. So that's 5 out of 30 for the first red, 4 out of 29 for the second red, and 10 out of 30, 28 for the probability that the third one is blue. And then, Figure out the number of ways of arranging the letters R, R, B, which is 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial, which is 3. So multiply the answer of step 2 with the number of arrangements, and that gives you the final answer, which is 5 upon 203. We will also do this same question now by an alternate method. So the alternate method of solving this problem is to go back to the basics of probability and we learned at the very beginning that probability was equal to the number of favorable outcomes. Divided by the number of all possible outcomes. Okay. So in this case, we'll use uh, in this in this method we're going to use uh, combinations. Now the favorable outcome is that we get two red marbles. The total number of red marbles is five, and we want to make sure that we get two of those. So that's five C two multiplied by uh, the number of uh, blue marbles is ten, and we want to make sure that we get one of those. So that's ten C one. This here is the number of favorable outcomes. We want to get nothing from green, so we can avoid the green. Divide by all the number of all possible outcomes. And the all possible outcomes are that there are a total of 30 marbles. And from those 30 marbles, we are drawing 3. So 30C3. Uh, let's solve this. So 5C2 is going to be 5 into 4 upon 2 into 1. And 10C1 is 10, and then you divide this by 30C3, which is 30 into 29 into 28, divided by 3 into 2 into 1. And when you solve this, your answer will again be equal to 5 upon 2, 0, 
3. And this is also a very, very simple and a powerful way of solving such problems in which the order is not specified. Remember, this method will only work in the cases where uh, the drawing of marbles is done without replacement. If you were asked to solve a question in which you were allowed to replace, in fact, you were required to replace the marbles after you draw them once, uh, then this combinations method will not work. Then you have to use a three-step method to make it work. Okay, now I'm going to give you a question that I want you to try uh, solving using the second method that I just specified to you. Uh, you have the same data and you're supposed to draw three marbles at random without replacement and the question says what is the probability that we have one red, one blue and one green marble uh, in any order. The order is is irrelevant. Um, so you have to use the second method that I just taught you to figure out the answer to this question. I want you to pause the video here and solve it on your own and then start playing it to see the solution to this question. Okay, so the solution to this question is as follows. Uh, the priority is equal to the number of favorable outcomes. The favorable outcomes uh, are that you get one red from five, so that's five C one, and one blue from 10, so that's 10 C one, and one green from 15, so that's 15 C one. Divide by the number of all possible outcomes, and all possible outcomes, uh, there are 30 marbles, and you're drawing three of those. So when you simplify this, you should get 5 times 10 times 15 divided by 30 C3 is 30 into 29 into 28 upon 3 into 2 into 1. And when you simplify this, your answer will be 75 over 406. This should be the right answer to this particular question. I hope you got this right. Right, now let's try one more example to make sure that you've understood this concept absolutely clearly. So I want you to draw three marbles again at random and I want you to figure out the probability that the marbles that you draw contain two green and one blue. I want you to use the second method, the combinations method, and see what answer you get. I want you to pause the video here, and then once you've solved it, I'll start playing it to see the solution. Right. So the solution to this problem is as follows. Uh, you want to draw, find the probability of getting two green out of 15, so that's 15 C2, and one blue, so that's 10 C1, divided by... Uh, 30C3 and this should be equal to 15C2 is 15 into 14 upon 2 into 1 and 10C1 is 10 divided by 30C3 is 30 into 29 into 28 over 3 into 2 into 1. This simplifies to 15 out of 58. So that concludes uh, the video uh, on these basic priority questions. In the next video, we will talk about how to handle the tossing of coins. See you then. Take care.